What are you doing here? I had my fill of Ferncliff. I mean, after all, how many doilies can one woman crochet? And the people? I've met Brussels sprouts with better personality. I'm taking care of business. You. No one escapes from Ferncliff. Haven't you read the brochure? I was released. No thanks to you. I asked you to give my letter to Stephen Lars. I know. I'm sorry. I was distracted. So you just ran? No, I had a lot on my mind. Well, that's really no excuse. You almost cost me the opportunity to reunite with my son. Where is Steve now? He's meeting with a colleague. Really? Does he know that you're here? Yeah. See, he signed my release papers. So, they released me. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about our deal. I told you everything you wanted to know about little boy baby Jason and his long-lost hey, twin. Hey, 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 lower your voice. Oh, my God. You haven't told Jason, have you? Jason, he has a twin brother. That is none of your business. And apparently none of Jason's. You were so desperate for that information at Ferncliff, and then you ran out of there like you'd seen a ghost. Shh, shh. Look at, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you down. I should have taken your letter to Stephen. What can I do to make it up to you? I'll do anything. Tell Jason he has a famous brother. Oh, come on. You don't understand. Oh, I think I do. Nurse Betsy Frank, the one who bought Jason's twin, she named her little boy Bobby Frank, and he grew up to be the brilliant artist Franco. Shh, shh, please. Why wouldn't you want Jason to know he has a famous artist for a brother? The one you gave me that day at Ferncliff when I told you that Jason and Franco were twins. Personally, I'd be thrilled. Now your baby has a chance to go up and be a visionary artist instead of a hitman. My, my child will be nothing like Franco. We could have the nature versus nurture debate, but the fact remains. Franco and Jason are twins. They share the same DNA. I am not having this discussion with you. Oh, that information wasn't for free. Why would you need a DNA test? If you breathe a word of this to Jason before I am ready to tell him, you'll what? I, I will have a little conversation with Stephen and let him know that you sold your cousin's baby just like you sold him. Stephen knows I'm not perfect. Oh, there's imperfect, and then there's you, Heather. I mean, I would hate for something to come out to change Stephen's opinion of you. He is the one keeping you out of Ferncliff. Are you threatening me? Well, no. I am just saying that your relationship with your son is important to you, just as important as my relationship to Jason, which means you're going to keep quiet. I mean, think, Heather. We do both have a lot to lose. Do we have a deal? How do I know you won't double-cross me like you did last time? No, oh, because this time I've got lots of incentives. So glad we could come to an understanding. Samantha, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the baby's Franco's.